Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 333 News. I'm your news anchor, Wario, and uh, we want to welcome you back here. Hopefully, everyone had a good Easter and April Fools. Obviously, well, we uh, didn't air for both of those days. We're now airing today, which is considerably late in the week. So, we do apologize for being late. However, we did give you a warning last weekend that we wouldn't be airing on Sunday and we'd probably be pushing back a couple of days. We just didn't expect to push back this far. In any case, here is our top story of today. YouTube has introduced a new policy and creator setting that allows, and by part requires, generated content, or I mean creators, to disclose AI-generated content. Due to the increasingly quick rise of AI nowadays, and AI being able to generate videos and photos, AI-generated content is becoming more and more popular. To disclose between AI-generated content and authentic content like the video you are watching right now, YouTube added a new setting which will put a label on any AI-generated content. So if there's like realistic effects made by AI, the video, at least on mobile right now, is going to have a little label when you're either watching the video or in the description. So if your video is AI-generated in any of the following ways, including a deep fakes, synthetic slash realistic AI-generated video, digital face generation and replacement, digitally altering famous scenes, simulated audio, realistic depictions and animations that look real but are not actually real, did not actually happen, then uh, you are required to disclose this by checking yes under the uh, altered slash synthetic content or AI generated content setting whenever you are uploading a video. However, there are also cases that do not warrant the need to disclose. YouTube recognizes this and uh, there are some subtle cases where you can check no and can uh, still, you know, have your video classified as a regular video. These cases, let's see, in the, well, these cases include basic editing, filters, green screen, you know, what we're currently doing right now, video slash audio upscaling, so if somebody took a video that was originally low quality, upscaled it to high quality, that does not need to be disclosed as artificially generated content, Unrealistic or basic animations in special video effects. There is a little asterisk on the teleprompter saying that as long as the original footage is real, not AI generated, then uh, these cases will allow you to check no. In any case, that is a new feature of YouTube, or new setting, anyways, and uh, just wanted to warn all of you fellow creators out there be aware of this setting. It is going to be important, especially if you uh, might be falling under the category of synthetic content. And, uh, this is a decent explanation this time around of what YouTube expects you to check the box for, but figured that I would point it out for you, give you a detailed explanation. That is our top story of the day. Now, uh, in other words, or in other news, a multi-day storm is currently ongoing in the form of a nor'easter. However, the storm is wrapping up in our area, so we do not feel that a full forecast is necessary. We would like to apologize for not covering this sooner. You know, we did have a lot to do at the beginning of the week. This storm featured snow in northern parts of New England, lots of rain down here in the southern parts of New England, and moderately strong winds. But of course, we were unable to find the time to uh, go in depth on the forecast of the storm, and uh, we didn't have time to record at all until now. There are hundreds of thousands of people across northern New England, mostly in New Hampshire and Maine, that are left in the dark without power from this system. Impacts are still going on in Maine, at least. But... Impacts down here in southern New England were not so severe, and uh, the state with the most power outages in the southern half of New England is Massachusetts with like just over 10,000 outages, and most of them are in northeastern Massachusetts. So impacts down here weren't as severe, and uh, the storm is pretty much wrapped up down here. So with that out of the way, let's go to the meteorology studio where Donkey Kong has your seven-day forecast for you. Over to you, Donkey Kong. All right, my turn. Welcome to the Meteorology Studio. I'm Donkey Kong, your meteorologist, and today we're going to be doing some meteorology in the Meteorology Studio. For once, it is a decent time of the day where the current conditions are going to matter. Speaking of that, as always, let's get started with the current conditions. Right now, what we're looking at is 40 degrees, cloudy skies, and uh, relative humidity around like 85% out there. It's pretty humid. You know, we did just get done with the storm system. And winds are currently about 14 miles an hour coming out of the northwest. Depending on where you are, it might be a little more northern based if you're on the coast, but 
still, you know, it's still pretty breezy out there. However, this should be expected to calm down. And of course, in some regions, there may also still be some lingering rain or snow showers. So yeah, this uh, cloudy forecast is general. It does not go for everybody. All right, now on to your seven day forecast. E. So uh, here's your 7-day forecast. We're actually going to get started with tomorrow instead of today, even though it is only 2 p.m. on Thursday. So tomorrow, Friday, we are going to be looking at a high of 48, a low of 35, and mostly cloudy skies. So we are still going to be in some cooler conditions throughout the rest of this week. However, at the beginning of next week, we're actually going to get into some really nice springtime conditions, as you'll see. All right, anyways, moving on. Saturday, we're going to be having a possibility of some light rain in a few spots. 46 for a high, 34 for a low. That's, uh, I mean, we've already had plenty of rain. It's only going to be a tiny bit, so hopefully it won't screw things up too much, but there has already been a lot of rain throughout the month of March and the beginning of April, and uh, flood risks are on the rise, especially as we get more precipitation on the way. On Sunday, we have a chance of some snow showers early in the morning. High of 44, low of 32. This might be the last shot of snow we're going to get for the year until December or November, depends on when the winter starts this year, when the winter conditions start anyways. But as we're going into the spring, this is probably our last chance of snow. All right, turning around here, on Monday, this is where things really start to head towards nicer conditions and uh, towards the more summer-like conditions. We're gonna be looking at sunny skies, high of 58 degrees, getting near those 60s there, and the low of 40, so looking pretty good there. It's actually gonna be a really nice day, Definitely recommend getting out and enjoying yourselves on Monday. That's going to be the nicest day of this forecast. On Tuesday, we have mostly sunny skies. High of 57, low of 37. Also not looking too bad. And once again, nicer springtime conditions. A very large jump from what we're having right now. On Wednesday, we are looking at partly cloudy skies. A high of 51 and a low of 40. So a little bit cooler and a little bit more cloudy. But still considerably nicer than what we're looking at right now. And, of course, next week, next Thursday, a high of 56, low of 49, and a chance of some light rain. So, yeah, there is going to be some more rain on the way, but fear not. We do have a break from the rain coming in just a few days, and it's going to be really nice outside. Temperature is going to get really warm. It's going to be really nice. So, yeah, overall, it looks like we're finally going to get spring started out here, and uh, we're going to be seeing some nice conditions. Hopefully for good this time and not getting any more cold snaps, but you never know. So, yeah, that's uh, what we've got here. That's going to do for your 7-day forecast. And we're going to take it back to Wario at the news desk. Back to you, Wario. Right? Thank you, Naki Kong. Yeah, about time we're getting out of this stupid winter conditions here. We've been having these cold snaps going through March and April and uh, some of the latest season snowfall that we've ever seen. And as Donkey Kong mentioned, there's even still a chance of some snow flurries on Sunday. But once that's out of the way, I think winter is going to be done and over with. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. In any case, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, I'm your new Zank Wario, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next episode, which is going to be in just a few days. Wario, out. Mm -hmm.